everybody. Hey, Bob Mason, come here. Welcome back to the uh, Northern Illinois Sports Show. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring on to you a very, very important person. Why, you ask? Well, because he is instrumental in why we have this show and others. Maybe he'll even tell us a little bit about him. But hey, I want to introduce to you right now, if I can, the show promoter, Rick Rosalini. Rick, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks, Bob. Thanks for having me. Oh man, I'm telling you, guy. We, you and I have known one another for at least two days now. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. And I have had the opportunity to share your sports show floors on in more than one city. And Rick, you do such a phenomenal job. But before we get into the phenomenal job, if you don't mind, and I might be putting you on a spot, I want to talk about some of the hardships that you guys have endured. Two years, no shows, COVID, all these kind of things. It's got to be driving you up a wall, my goodness. Yeah, the event business right now is obviously uh, is a struggle, uh, indoor and even outdoor events. Um, working out how to do these shows safe and being allowed and working within the guidelines of uh, government constraints and public uh, health and all that so we we're excited that you know after two years we were able to floor a show and do it uh, healthy and have great attendance and be able to bring everybody back together to show their passions uh, and to have you know tackle and boats and RVs and great speakers, everything we like to do um, for this industry. It's just really excited to be back. Well, you have done a, a fabulous job of putting this show on, no doubt about it. And like I said, I've been to other shows with you in the past. You always treated the customer coming in the door with the greatest respect. You've got your show, you, pr you, you promote your booze, you promote your, your customers in the booze, you promote the customers to the door. You do it all. And people don't realize how much work and how much energy goes into play bringing a venue together. It's These things just don't fall off the shelf. You've got to go through a lot of work to get this venue locked up. You, you do. I mean, and I'm very fortunate that I have a great team at Outdoor Sports Group. Um, you know, be, besides just selling the booze, working on the marketing plan, uh, the logistics and operations about just executing the event, making sure everybody gets into the, the venue and out of the venue in an in a, um, ordinary, organized fashion. Uh, it takes a lot of hands and, uh, you know, event production is, is exciting and we, we love to do it. Uh, and the results, when they, when they come out like this, it's, it's very gratifying. Uh, it's even more gratifying when you see the families come in and the next generation of, yes, of the sports uh, enthusiasts. Um, our shows are very broad, so you know we're, we're talking about fishing, hunting, camping, um, the all-around sports enthusiasts, and you see those kids with big smiles. They come and get their first fish in the trout pond, or, or take advantage of the, the bumper boats and the activities, and talk to uh, you know a future guide about a trip they're going to take. It's exciting. It, it really gives me shivers, and that's why we do these shows. Um, because that's what it's about. It's about the future generation of uh, this industry and um, getting the youth involved. It really is, and you've got a support staff. Now, I know Crystal, and you've got Jennifer, and you got Lorenzo, yep. and yourself. Now, those are the people that I see at yes. the show. I don't know how many you have working in the backfield that we don't see, but all of these people, they carry respect when they walk in a room because they've earned it. They, if something happens on the floor, people know who to go to and you solve situations so quickly it's amazing you've got you've got big time vendors in this show Let, let's be honest about it the boating industry is a huge part of what goes on in a show today no doubt about it and you've got some of the best at this yeah, show we're, we're very fortunate I mean especially right now because there's a it's hard to find boats so we, we, we pulled together a good group uh, of vendors anglers edge Lake County water sports Action Marine, um, the Freedom Boat Clubs here. If you you, know, you don't want to own a boat, you can you can you can join a club and have a boat. There's opportunities. Yeah, uh, and it, it, there's some of the best brands in the industry. You know, between Mercury and Vexus and uh, Lumacraft. I mean, they're here. So you, we're we're very fortunate to have them. I'm honored to host them. Um, and the, these boats will get you on the water, that's for sure. Yeah, and this show is going on right now, so we want to tell people the Lake County Fairgrounds, come on out, come on out and see Rick's show, um, because this is what it's about. It's about meeting the people. It's about, I can't tell you how many 
how many friends we've made over the years coming to these shows when you see them standing in the booths and you get to know them name for name person for person face to face it's amazing you the public when they come in here Rick they're gonna get that same opportunity because every one of these people in these booths are cordial they invite you in they want to say hi they want to make sure that your day on the uh, on the show floor is exactly what you promote it to be Sports shows are, to me, they're where the bread and butter is at. I mean, it's where people can talk to lodge owners and people can talk to us, guides, like you say, all the people necessary to make a show pull off and be what it is. It's very, very, very warm to see that. Rick, what can you tell us about other shows that you might want to talk about? I know we're here at Lake County. I know this is the Northern Illinois Sports Show, but I know you're involved in others. Yes, I mean, actually in March, uh, the 10th to the 13th, we're going to be uh, in Wisconsin. Um, that's the Journal Sentinel Sports Show. It's an 81st year. Um, that's not too far from here. It's an easy drive. It's a fantastic show. It's going to have... Um, everything here plus more it's it's actually it's it's an established bigger show uh it brings uh, more boats more tackle um phenomenal education bob will be there we're very, <laughs> <laughs> we're very honored to have a, the hall of famer lineup um because it, it, it's it, you know it, it it takes all that it takes the vendors it takes the educators it takes um the nonprofit organizations the guides tackle to make these shows a success. It's really a team effort. Yeah, there's no question about it. Folks don't get a chance to see what's behind the scenes. Uh, it, it is an amazing deal, folks. We are, again, we are at the Northern Illinois Outdoor Sports Show. I've taken Rick off the floor. He goes around to all his vendors. He talks to them. He talks to people on the floor. We're going to cut him loose and let him go out and do what he does because he does it best. Absolute best. That being said, here's the instructions, folks, on how to find us. Northern Illinois Sports Show right up here. Come on up. See what's left of the show. There's still many pros that are going up on talking on the hog trough, talking back in the seminar area. These are all people who bring to you hundreds and hundreds of combined years of experience. I can't say enough. Rick, it's been my pleasure to have you on our show. Uh, I, I just hope it's my our, pleasure. I just hope that our paths keep crossing in the future. Absolutely. Um, you guys just don't understand when you have a relationship like you do with Lorenzo and with Rick and with Crystal and with Jennifer. It's amazing. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. Remember, come on out to the show. That's what we're here for. With that thanks, being Bob. said, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, it. very much. Guys, we're